Okay. So, at this point, I'm going to put some more hash browns on that. I'll just set this out of the way. Stir those. I should have been stirring these the whole time. I'll stir these up. what happens whenever you get to cooking too fast and doing two things at once. Now this pan is good and hot. That's fine. Because I'm fixing to throw more hash browns on it. About that much. Get some hash browns on it so I don't have a grease fire. And then get the rest of these in there. One more order of hash browns. Well, I might even call that a half an order. Stir your grits so they don't stick. Stir them, stir them, stir them. It's three parts stirring, one part grit. <laughs> and then there's another part of stirring that you add at the end. you got to stir those grits. And then once they get to boiling, I turn them down to a low boil. There it is. Okay, so um, add more oil to the hash browns. in the places where the hash browns are not. And then I'm going to throw some eggs on. These grits are, are just about getting done. Look at that. They're almost done at this point. They may look done. I'll give them more time and some more water. Then when that boils down, they'll be done. Maybe I should have called this a breakfast video because uh, that's what's really happening here. It's breakfast. So I'm cooking eggs over here. Already got a biscuit I need to eat up. So I'll cut this into parts because one's for grits. And, you know, I just cook everything at the same time. Probably should have cooked the grits first. But I was trying to make a video on hash browns. So this one here. That's hot. Okay. Making eggs over here. Stir the grits, stir the grits, and then stir the grits some more. Hash browns are coming up good. Okay. I already put salt in there. I'm going to put some pepper in there. And when I'm done, I'm going to put a piece of sliced cheese. I'm going to put the grits in a bowl. Just because I don't like them running all over my stuff here. Um, I usually, for my eggs, get my pan hot, really, really hot first, and then put the butter in them. But, uh, doesn't really matter as long as the butter's melted before you put the eggs in there, they won't stick. But I get them really hot before I flip them. Now, these hash browns are ready to flip. I get a good shot of that, and then I get the egg. Awesome. I'm going to put some more oil so they don't stem to actually cook. Turn down the rear. Eggs, meal, salt, and pepper. This is going to be one awesome breakfast video. There's going to be people everywhere that are hungry after watching this. A man that can make breakfast. Look at that. My wife is laughing at me right now. 
you could have done better. <laughs> okay, so these hash browns, I'm going to put them on half heat. I'm going to turn down the grit so they're done. Make these eggs about over medium. That's how you flip an egg. And they're done. Everything's done. I got hash browns, eggs, grit, a biscuit that my wife made for me. She's got a video on that. You have to check out her page for that biscuit. It's a really light, easy to make biscuit. And it's not made with grease. No grease in this biscuit. This biscuit has no grease in it. It's really good. It's light. I'll have to learn how to put a link to my to her page on my page. Those hash browns are done. I'm just going to turn them off. I'll come back and get them when I want them. There's my egg. And my grits are going to be in a bowl with some cheese on them. So, good shot of that. It'll be that is my second order of hash browns. Look at that. I got two cameras over here. Okay, so I'm going to take this right here off. This one here. Grits are done. Get them before they stick. Alright, I would say that these grits are done. And that's grits. For you don't, if you don't know, that's what grits look like. Do it right here. So it's in both cameras. That's what grits look like for those who don't know. And salt, pepper, and what you do is you cook them to as thick as you can. Add more water, add more water, whatever. You don't put much. You're going to put about this much of a spoonful of this big spoon of grits in when you first start and add it to about two cups of water. That's about right. Um... And then just keep adding water if you need more cook time or whatever. They're just going to keep getting thicker. Um, and uh, turn that one off. Take that and put it in a bowl. This is how you serve them. use your mitt. Okay, this is how you serve them. That's enough for easily one person. And then, so you can see it here. Take a piece of cheese, put it on the top, make sure it melts. I always put a little more grits on the top, and stir it in when you're done. That's cheese grits. Everybody wants to know what cheese grits are. It's simple, it's easy to make, go good with hash browns. And that's breakfast right there. <laughs>